Snow Days, part one. So we thought we'd start out the day by showing you how we do our chores. And it always starts out by carrying out a few bags of feed. Just a few, mind you. Not very many. And after we carry out the feed, of course, we have to feed it. Everybody gets their load of grain. And on this nice snowy day, we ended up with about 11 to 12 inches of snow outside. All our chickens are all in the barn today because it's too cold for them to be outside. All of our kids have a job that they uh, take care of on the farm. And since today was a snow day, the kids were first super excited until they remembered they had to help us do chores. Uh, since they're home and it's a snow day, they each are working on their respective jobs. We use that bungee cord uh, that you see Lydia putting on to keep the hay from falling on and off of the wagon. So that way we don't trail a bunch of hay in between the barns. Even our little geese are inside. Our little wagon looks pretty good. Matt made that up. So it's just a little uh, wagon cart that he put these plywood sides on. And then he stapled some used carpet on the inside of it. You can kind of see it hanging out right there. And uh, it helps move the hay around. So these are our chickens. We had to get creative. How can we have chickens sooner at the farmer's market? So they're here in February. Generally, we wouldn't have them until March. So we've got lots of wood shavings. They have some heat mats in there that are keeping them warm, along with some heat lamps. And then we have that rolled up uh, plastic that you saw over the top of them to help kind of create insulation. And that plastic is some heavy duty, actually uh, greenhouse plastic. And then um, we always go to the other room to get a, um, our water. Uh, the kids call this barrel Derek. <laughs> uh, and then when we're all done, we roll it back up. And we have a nail on the very far back corner that that PVC pipe kind of hooks over so that way it stays rolled up. And then on extra cold days like today, we've got some insulation uh, that we put around the outside of it that just kind of lays on there to help keep them warm. Uh, this was all Matt's like master plan for keeping the chickens warm and um, I can safely say that we uh, have gotten these guys here for a few weeks and they seem to be making it okay. Now Nick's got to feed his chickens and they're all crowded around inside the barn. We do have it kind of shut up a little bit right now so they have to get inventive to get outside. Uh, because we wanted to keep them protected. And while everything here was uh, getting to be below freezing, we were still lucky enough that all of our water buckets and everything just had this nice layer of slush that we were able to scoop out. So while our ponds are freezing up, we offer large um, water tanks, well semi-large anyway, to our cattle and we water them a few times a day to make sure that they've got access all day long. We don't have enough heaters to go in each bucket so we get creative. I don't show you guys all of the uh, water hose work or the bucketing of water while we're out there. We have a gravity wagon inside our barn that is full of our feed for our cattle that we're feeding out and we fill up nine buckets a day and they we've got two different groups of animals right now that we're feeding out ones that are currently basically ready for butcher we're just waiting we're working through our processing dates and the other group will start in um, the fall 
So Matt says that he always heard an old wives tale say that if you look at your cattle and they've got snow setting on top of them, then that shows that they have a good insulation layer. Once we get done feeding these guys, we actually fill up their troughs with hay. Um, and you can actually tell this barn is, uh, so it's got open sides. It does have a roof over the top. And the open sides are really great because it allows for lots of ventilation. But unfortunately, everything blows in. So you, you can see the wind is blowing hard enough today that um, the snow is just pouring into the barn. And uh, we put the hay in the hay troughs instead of rolling it out to these guys, just because it's a little easier on the pasture, especially when it's mucky like this, so we don't create a whole bunch of ruts. And um, it also provides some type of shelter for the hay so it doesn't get as snow covered as it would be if it was out in the field. We also found out that we went through less hay by feeding this way than we did if we rolled out a half a bale of hay to each group every day. Um, we were actually able to cut down on the amount of waste just because they weren't walking through it and we were able to dump out what they didn't eat earlier in the day out of the trough, feed grain, and then just put it back in there. So nothing goes to waste. Matt just put the core of that bale into a feed trough that's going down um, kind of horizontally in the middle of their pen. There's that nice layer of snow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our other social media. And look forward to seeing you at the Columbia Farmer's Market. And don't forget, we got part two because we haven't fed the cows yet. <laughs>